This is a final project production. The title is Video Wave. The director is Alan Abramowitz. Also, the producer is Alan Abramowitz. The date is December 18, 1981. Hi, I'm VD of VD and the Gangsters. Maybe you've heard of them. No? No big deal. I'm your VJ today. I want to welcome you to Alan A's new video wave where those with a digitized imagination may not belong. By turning sound into sight, whereupon we create a mood. So immerse yourself in the new a video wave. Our concepts may be alien to some, but the language of motion is universal. Whereupon the radio was once the center of family life, we now have the video wave. Where once the disc jockey was king, we now have the video jock. That's me, VD. Instead of spinning records, we'll be spinning the video disc. The music of the past will have to move over for the new wave of video music. From today's program, we put together a list of the most popular new records. Then on today, we'll also be playing our selections from that list, chosen from last week's selection. We will also be giving you the latest news and gossip around town. The Avant Garde video is happening today. Next, we have the, the waitresses doing their hit song, No Guilt. It's the flip side of last year's success. I know what boys like. Oh, hi. That girl was sure tough. She has learned something, hasn't she? Well, out of some news. The talk of the town is about Jim Forats and Rudolph's new club, Average Normal Incorporated, whatever that means. An ad in the Soho Times, or the news, I should say, created a mystery because the ad said, guess what these two guys are up to. Are they trying to redesign the Avant Neo Post Danceteria, or are they just providing a consulting service, perhaps planning a New Year's party, introducing pan-tropicalism? I don't know, special parties, concert at Studio 54? Beats me. Maybe they're just having fun without being serious. The answer was upside down in the paper, it said, to the future, through the past. How vague can you get? Are they trying to thread new waters? Who knows? Well, just stay tuned. Maybe next time we'll have the answers for you. Right now, we got Voodoo by the Ravillos. That was Voodoo 2 by the Rovillos. It's maybe, are they Britain's answer to the B-52? I don't think so. But their unique blend of a sort of psychedelic pop, surf, what have you, is certainly uh, something to be reckoned with. Let's see. Good Time Magazine describes what their act is. What they do is a mixture between the Ramones, Tommy James and the Chandels, and even the Shirelles. Beats me. I don't get it. But Let's see what's happening in the clubs around town. Let's see here. Uh, don't hold your collective breath about the major clubs. Let's see. The, um, let's see. Playing before Snat Snafu, Brenda Bergen, was played before a packed house. She had an unusual Motown, rock, pump, fuck, whatever. I don't know. But uh, let's see. Her backup wasn't. The real tones weren't there. Where were they? They were somewhere else. They were playing at Sherry's Beachfront back the night before. Before I forget, Brenda herself will be playing every Fridays. And Sherry will also have a debut. She appeared with her band, Get Wet, with no reason. 
she overwhelmed the Thursday night crowd. Well, I don't know. Without further ado, let's go into our new set, which is by uh, the Ant, Ant Music. It's Ant Music. So go. Oh, we don't want to go? I, oh, Ant Music. I, I don't know. This is uh, Ant Music is a, the invasion from, uh, from Britain, which was a big hype during the summer. And he is now perhaps one of the most popular people around. And I'm sure that you're going to like this hot number because it'll bring us back out into the West. Thank you. Hi, that was Los Rancheros by Adam and the Ants. I don't know if they're going to be the new answer to, to music, whether they with their music as it is today with punk fads and disco stretching. People say it'll never happen. Will it last? Only time will tell. But it's a brilliant package conceived by uh, Malcolm McLaren, the ex-manager of Adam and his Ants. The Ants were the first band in Britain to get three records on the charts at the same time since the Beatles. I mean, I don't know what that says about the music in the UK, but it certainly says something about their music. Well, the reason for their success was the hype that, that uh, Adam and his aunts and McLaren, his manager, put together during the, the blitz that he hit up. He was unique. He praises the role. That he, he himself says that he blames his success on the role models that he's played with Lenny Bruce, uh, Mel Brooks, and even his manager, who he's taken a lot of hints from. Let's see. But he language in obscurity as long as the groups that were hitting us with from England at the time, such as the Sex Pistols, the Class, Susie, and other groups, didn't happen. But instrumental, he all of a sudden came up with this big blitz, and now here we have ant music, famous everywhere. Everyone's heard of the ants. But his manager rescued him from obscurity. After that, though, his manager quit and took away the ants from him, and he put together this 15-year-old singer and presto, we have Bow Wow Wow, another new hit. Well, that's the way business is, but now we have a nice golden oldie from 1978. It's Kate Bush's Wuthering Heights. Uh, or maybe it's just uh, maybe Emily Bonte's uh, Meets Pop. Okay, enjoy it. Oh, hi, hi, hi again. I wasn't, I wasn't too bad. Maybe it wasn't too good either. But hey, you know, for those of you who can't stand Kate Bush, check out Ya Wunzel's Hybrid Kids. It's a hilarious send-off to Wuthering Heights. Let's see, rumors, the rumors that Kansas City is closed are true. Max's Punk Garden of Eden in New York has finally been closed down because of zoning regulations and equipment rip-offs. Peter Crowley, the owner, is searching for new digs while the old haunt is being turned into a condo. Let's see. All right, now we're ready for the hit. Can I have the envelope, please? Mm, why, thank you, thank you. Let's see, uh, here's the hit list. Let's see, what is number one? Number 10 is Stand and Deliver by Adam and the Ants. Let's hear it for ant music. Start me up for the rolling, hey, what's it good to hear? Set me up the Rolling Stones, Someday, Someway by Robert Gordon. Number seven, Telemacute, Telecommunication by a flock of seagulls. Tainted Love by Soft Cell, number six. Chihuahua by Bow Wow Wow, No Guilt. You heard before, Voodoo, Los Rancheros, and this week's number one hit, W-O-R-K, Work, by Bow Wow Wow. Let's hear it for me. I knew you'd like it. It's a social right. I knew that you'd like that. It's a social commentary by Mac McLaren, and that's his concept of teen sex. Let's hit it. I hope it. Oh, 
Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I need to work myself. That's why I'm here. It's a little tough. I don't know how to do this stuff. I mean, today's show, we had the, the five songs were No Guilt, Voodoo, Los Rancheros, and the number one hit, W-R-K, W-O-R-K, that's like my spelling, sometimes I forget. But at any rate, thanks for showing up for the show, the Alan Dave, new video wave, and maybe next time, if I'm really nice, the producer says I can bring my band, VD and the Gangsters, and we'll perform live for you. I'd really enjoy that. But he says, hey, I had to do this first. I don't know. I'm better with an instrument. But so till next time, I hope you tune in and stay with it. It's okay. Good night.